Here is a woman that's been a stripper, a porn star, and now she happens to be on a mission and certainly not one that any of us would ever expect. Heather Veach is about to guide you through the seedy world where she used to make a living before a personal loss changed her life. She still prowls the strip joints, but with a very different goal in mind. Here's Kareen Winter. It's after dark on one of the grittiest street corners in Southern California. Heather Veach goes to work. Doing something that's risky, that's dangerous, that uh, you don't know what's going to happen to you. Although she knows this world very well, it's impossible for Heather to feel at home here. The former stripper and adult film star says the business almost killed her. Her poison? The magnetic draw of the glitzy Las Vegas Strip easy money and celebrity clients. The wild nightlife enticed a troubled 21-year-old from Los Angeles into a world of sex, alcohol, and sometimes violence. Heather says she feared for her life, addicted to alcohol, and subjected to abuse by her customers. But it was the death of a close friend that drove her out of the business. About three years ago, a dear friend of mine passed away that I used to dance with, and I found out that she died of alcoholism. At the Heather eventually gave up the bottle and quit the sex industry, but didn't abandon it. Her new journey took her right back to the strip joints, but with a new focus, a spiritual one. She turned to Christianity for redemption. So God, I just pray that you'd be in charge of this night. I Heather formed a missionary group, Jesus Christ's Girls. Like it really started hitting me that nobody cares about them. Nobody. Like I, I, I started really thinking like is anybody reaching out to these girls? Several former strippers joined her crusade, a unique but risky outreach program that involves late night trips into some very rough neighborhoods. We went out on a mission with JC's girls, but they wouldn't let our cameras follow them into strip clubs because they want their meetings to be confidential and safe. We don't want to endanger ourselves and also we don't want to create too much attention to what we're doing. Inside, Heather and her crew split up. They even go as far as paying for private lap dances. And that's where the group's ministry begins, by preaching to these dancers. It's simply planting a seed, simply getting the, the message out there because a lot the girls don't hear that they can know about God. And so just by get, planting the seed that they can know about God if they want to, it doesn't matter who you are or what, what your life is about. JC's girls have taken their message right into the lion's den, attending international porn conventions where they hand out Bibles wrapped in signature t-shirts. And you can come and start going to church and have a relationship with God. Yeah, that's what we do. It's an unlikely place to promote religion, but Heather believes this is where she'll find people who need it. And we try to make it so that if you guys ever want to go to church. Not everyone here agrees. They come into a porn convention and them to think they have to save us is kind of, kind of gets you out of the mood. You're just it's like, why are you even here? Carol Lee, a former prostitute who now heads her own non-religious outreach program in San Francisco, doesn't but, approve. You know, to couch it in, in a specific religious framework, I think that's problematic. And and to make to, to again point fingers at these women and, and tell them there's something wrong with them, I don't think that that's necessarily the best thing for their lives. Some people associated with the sex industry think Heather's ministry is harmless. The notion that they're going to weed them out or somehow lead them out of bondage, I mean, to me, is just silly. Thursday, January 19th at 1230. Heather Veach, who now styles hair for a living, has no illusions that she will bring down the multi-billion dollar sex industry, but she thinks she can make a difference. Part of it is a successful Christian website she runs out of her bedroom. There are desperate emails from girls looking for help. I have been dancing for a year now, but I'm about to be 21 and I don't want to be a drunk. Heather now has kids and a husband, but says her spiritual family is still growing. I have hope for my life. I have a lot of hope even for my own life because I know that my life consists of good, of watching people um, change their lives. I've seen people have hope that didn't have hope before. 
One of those people is stripper Roxanne Elias, who's now in a place she never imagined would embrace her, a church. happy like I don't feel worthless like I feel like even though I'm a dancer like God loves me and it's okay like I, I'm okay with my life and I could do something else. Heather Veach says her new calling will keep her on the streets trying to lead others away from the life she has escaped. Kareen Winter CNN Los Angeles.